Hello, I'm John with Roadkill Incorporated. In this video, I'm going to cover several different OS installation methods. I'll talk about downloading a Mac OS from the web in order to do an upgrade. I'll talk about copying that download to a bootable drive. And then I'll talk about using the internet recovery method to install the OS directly from Apple over the internet. So anyway, to start, if you have a newer Mac, upgrading the OS is super easy. The computer itself will tell you there's a new OS available, and after just a few clicks and prompts, you're upgraded. But what if you have an older Mac that can't take the most current OS, but you still want to upgrade to the newest system it can take? If you have a 2011 with Yosemite, for example, and you want to go to High Sierra, which is the newest system it can handle, you'd think you'd be able to get it from the App Store, but if you go to the App Store and type High Sierra, it's a frustrating experience. You generally won't find the operating system you'll look for. Nothing comes up. The only OS available is the current one, and that won't work with this machine. So what do you do? Lots of people get stuck here and end up searching Pirate Bay or eBay or elsewhere. But the solution is really pretty simple, actually. Just Google Download High Sierra or any given OS name. Click this document, which is usually the top Apple link. Scroll down to Step 4. And the second link under Step 4 is what you're looking for, a full download of that OS. Beware of the first link of Step 4, which tries to get you to download the newest OS, as Apple always does. It's as simple as that. The OS downloads. It goes straight to the Applications folder, as you can see here. If what you want to do is upgrade to this OS that you've just downloaded, then launch this installer, go through the steps, and you're all set with a fresh upgrade. So there's that method, but what if the computer you want the OS on has a blank drive, for example, and so you can't do a download? In this case, it's useful to copy the OS to an external drive or flash drive. Doing that is also pretty easy. I googled how to mount a Mac OS on a flash drive, which took me to this Apple link. If you follow the instructions shown in the document, you'll use the command prompt to copy the OS installer you just downloaded to an external drive. I'm not going to go into detail here because you're better off just following the actual document. By the way, the reason I'm telling you to Google it rather than just giving you the information is that it's important to know it's all out there. I don't know the commands from memory to copy the installer to an external drive, for example, but it doesn't matter because I know these documents are out there and easy to find. I'll put links to them all in the notes. Once you've set up the boot drive, connect it to the computer you want to install the OS to. Power on the computer while holding down the Option key, which brings up the boot menu, which basically just shows you all the available bootable drives. You should now see the icon for the OS installer you just made, so click on it, follow the prompts, and you're done. So now I'll talk about the third option, Internet Recovery. This pulls an OS down from Apple, and it's most useful when someone doesn't have an external drive to use, or they aren't able to simply download the OS from the web, because they don't have a functioning OS to start with. When a system has gotten corrupted and all you're seeing is a blinking folder, for example, that's a good use of the Internet Recovery method. To do this, your Mac needs to be around 2010 or newer and have firmware capable of it. Basically, if you go into option mode, as we did a minute ago, if your option mode looks like this and shows a Wi-Fi prompt, you're good. But if it looks like this, your computer is too old and you can't use internet recovery, unfortunately. So for a third and final time, I'll ask you to Google something, this time Apple OS Recovery, which takes you to this document. Now this is a beautiful document, I probably sent it to a thousand people. It tells you about the three different kinds of recovery, but pretty much the only one I use is the middle internet recovery method, option command R, which pulls down the latest OS that is compatible with the computer you're using. To try it out, power on the machine while holding down option command R. It prompts you to log into your wireless connection, at which point it connects to Apple and starts the process of downloading the latest OS compatible with your machine. Now I've got to warn you, this method is very slow because it's downloading a huge OS, so prepare to let the computer sit for an hour or two. Keeping the computer next to your wireless connection helps because that prevents timeouts, which are pretty common. Once it's done, you'll follow the typical process of stepping through the OS install. I usually recommend wiping the drive in disk utility before you install the OS. It's good practice to do that. I should also mention that one of the other options, Command-R, is useful if the computer has a recovery partition. The recovery partition generally has the last OS that was installed on your computer, so if that is acceptable, you might want to do this instead of an internet recovery because it's much faster. But if you're dealing with a blank drive or a corrupted drive, the Command-R method uh, won't be available. So anyway, that's it. You now know how to pull down any given OS from the internet to do an upgrade in place. You know how to mount that OS on an external drive so you can boot a Mac to it, and you also know how to boot a blank computer to the internet and pull down an OS from Apple. People often get stuck on a Mac with an old OS or the wrong OS or no OS at all, and these tools help in all those situations. 
Thanks for watching, and if this was useful to you, please subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.